Time. Look, look what we walked away from. Read that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When you walk away, you get more. Mm-hmm. We walked away from that. I'm going to tell y'all something, man. I knew this beforehand, but uh, Gilly and Wallow is the highest paid black podcasters in the game. That's not what the list says. <laughs> man, you know, I don't bring that up. Don't bring that up. <laughs> we don't worry about the list. Don't worry about the list, Envy. You hear me? Because you know why? I'm just... I'm, and I ain't taking no shots. I'm just telling the truth, nigga. I'm listening. Don't compare us to nobody that ain't stopping in the middle of their motherfucking podcast and saying, this episode is brought to you by <laughs> Omega Accountant Solutions. <laughs> now let me tell you about Omega Accountant Solutions. Yeah. This episode, a million dollars worth of game, uh, is brought to you by New Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's the steal five times, nigga. It's filthy three times for that clean, crisp finish. Hold on, wait, nigga. This episode, a million dollars worth of game, is brought to you by oh, man. Manscaped. <laughs> Hold on. This episode of me fuckers. Oh, that talk. It's all man. So when you niggas out there creating your funky ass list, you leave us off it, nigga, unless you talk about the paid list, nigga. Oh, man. And we can do a paperwork party, nigga. <laughs> Made that I turn the fuck I'm up when I'm feeling good in here. Somebody lied, I got I don't want to hear shot. none of that money talk from you niggas. If I died today, your headboard is covering a very small window in your primary bedroom. <laughs> Make all of my I can tell it's not like that. that. Stop fucking playing with me. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back, another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in on Joe Button and Gilly the Kid hitting Twitter today and going off on each other online. And I'm going to have links in the description where you can listen to the Million Dollars Worth of Game episode with DJ Envy and Charlemagne is guested and get the entire context of what they said and also, episode 624 from Joe Budden, the audio actually dropped yesterday, and then the visual dropped on YouTube, but you won't hear the little jab that he took at Gilly right there about his bedroom set up with the bed blocking the window and everything like that. You won't see that on the visual on YouTube. It's only on the audio because he had the music popping while he wanted to come on there and talk his stuff and everything like that. And as I said before, it's layers to this conversation right here that led it to get to the point where we are. And we're going to get into the tweets in just a second. But that complex list, as I told y'all before, you can guarantee that they will be dropping another list. Because that's what kind of got everybody bragging and boasting and popping their little stuff or just flexing righteously, just talking they ish. Like, hey, I'm the nigga, now you the nigga. Hey, if you on that type of time, you feel you the nigga, pop your stuff. But... What happened was Joe Budden first had took some shots at Breakfast Club and everything after Envy had a response to what he had to say about Charlemagne not receiving number one. Timing is everything, though, because I'm pretty sure the Breakfast Club was already booked to come to Million Dollars Worth the Game, so the conversation came back up on there when Envy brought it back up. But Joe then, on episode 621, after they appeared on there, took some shots at everybody a little bit, they kind of took some shots. You heard what Gilly was saying. Hey, nigga, don't talk to me about no money, which, hey, Joe did come on that episode and say at first, nah, Wallow and Gilly got a right to talk they stuff. He really just kind of went at Charlemagne. So I guess yesterday, Joe was feeling a little different on episode 624, made the comments about the headboard and all that. The blogs picked it up. I seen a few blogs posted today. Seen it all over Twitter. A couple of people posted it to me. Like, oh, Joe uh, took some shots at Gilly. Gilly got wind of it. Went to Twitter a little bit ago and said this. After the washed up rap career, in and out all the rehabs, all the beating on bitches, now you want a podcast beef? I'll beef when you start getting some ad money. Hashtag got him. Joe responded and said, hey, you selling ass out here for cheap. Watch your mouth when you speak to or of me. And that's actually Joe referencing the podcast episode that came out back in February with him and Noriega, where they were making the comments about liking and enjoying to see other rappers and podcasters fail from their era and everything like that. And then that recently kicked back up 
when Cameron posted it and called out Joe and Noriega and everything like that. But Joe was on there saying, man, they out here selling ass. And he's referencing the things that he says about people not accepting checks from anywhere, taking any deal that's available because they looking at podcasts and there's a quick check and everything like that. And he's been pushing that before he even got to the level that he was on of securing a deal and everything like that. But I tell you like this, bro, that's his strategy of doing it. Everybody going to have their own strategy. Wallow and Gilly, they own in their platform. They got a licenses deal. They feel like, hey, nigga, we winning because we got the license deal, the ownership, and we going to get promo money and everything or add money on our show. And Joe feels like, nah, nigga, I'm going to stay down. I don't want the promo money. I just want mine to be just like this. However you want to do it is however you want to do it. I don't look at either podcast because I care about who make the most money or how much money they do make. Us as humans, when you've been watching something for so long, and you know money is how we survive. Money is how we eat. I ain't the nigga to tell you to not try to go get the most money you can get. But it gets to a point where, hey, nigga, I'm going to be watching this anyways, whether you get a new deal or not. So I don't really trip off that, but I know niggas is flexing. They popping they itch. They put their blood, sweat, and tears in this. Million dollars worth of game. I would watch them niggas if they had $100 in their pocket. If they could create the same type of content, nigga, I would not care and everything. As long as they keep it in play, like they got the uh, LL Cool J episode tonight. I watched the LL Cool J Mike Tyson episode, and it was lit, nigga. I was like, hold on, nigga. This nigga LL Cool J live, bro. So I'm going to see why Lord Gilly talk to him. Joe. I like Joe for the controversy too, but Joe got a good thought process on stuff, so I'm going to tap in regardless. But overall, here we go again. Most podcast shit talking, baby. Tell me what y'all think. Both of them niggas winning. I mean, both platforms is winning. Both of them niggas is winning. They going to continue to win in this game. Y'all ain't at the top for no reason, man. It's about your God, how y'all got down. Y'all stayed down, devoted, and, uh, and, and dedicated to it, man. So we going to be tapped in regardless. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit, show. Stay on your pivot.